So with Diablo 4 being way much more of a MMO than a normal co-op or action RPG that you might have played in Diablo 3 or other game of it ilk. And you might be wondering how exactly are they going to be handling the distant difficult settings as far of getting easy loot to getting a hard, like harder and harder item from harder and harder content. Well, today I'm going to be breaking down everything you need to know about war tendencies and how this operates in Diablo 4. But before we hop into it, I do want to give a giant thank you to everybody that is subscribing over on Patreon.com slash Macon. As well as a big thank you to 1K for subscribing at the Luna Teal. And if you want to help out for a little at $1 a month, link in the description below for that. But with that out of the way, let's go ahead, let's jump into this, and let's talk about war tendencies. The war tendency itself pretty much operate in the same way as uh, you've seen in like Diablo 3 with like normal hard effort so on and so on and of course as you all probably know uh, by playing harder modes you do get access to more affiliate, more item, well drops, new enemies and a whole bunch of stuff and Diablo 4 is luckily enough not getting rid of that they are streamlining it a little bit but this is something that is going to be great especially for all you who want a challenge or better loot. So to start off here, we need to go ahead and head uh, to a War Tendency statue. And of course, in the case of the beta itself, and probably will be in multiple cities at launch, you can go ahead and find it a setting right here at the star icon. And we want to go ahead and head over to it. And by clicking on it, we will get our Tendency menu here. So... How this operate is of course we have eventual and all the way up here to of course level four being the hardest setting elite for the beta anyway. And of course these are broken out into two ways. When you create your character, you will be at do you want to start on a tier one or tier two? You can pick whatever you see fit here of course tier one. Dudes have enemies that are easier to defeat. Uh, and is uh, for new players, of course, Tennessee 2 is, of course, a more challenging because Monta will give a 20% increase of affiliates, Monta drop 15% and more gold, and the enemy themselves will also become harder. But in the case of the beta, we will see if the change in full release. I follow like uh, the lat 2 setting. These are going to require you to do certain content for it. So in the case to unlock Nightmare Hill, you must unlock by completing the campaign and a court by completing a dungeon on War Tendency 2. And we do have a court of recommendation for what that uh, quest and dungeon seem to be, which in the case will be roughly 50 to 70, as well as uh, we will get access to the new stuff. So to start off here, we can go ahead and get some items or some unique item. We can get sigils as well as a couple other uh, things that we can use for crafting and whatnot. Uh, and of course, if you want to know more information, especially about sigil, I did do a breakdown video on how to enhance your equipment. And this is something that will be very much in handy for that. And honestly, a pretty good motivator for wanting to play Nightmare. Link above if you want more information on that stuff when it comes to sigils. As well as enemy details here are with a model giving a hundred percent increase to a billion, fifteen to uh, item drop and gold, as well as a model overcome twenty percent of resistance. And of course, bumping this up to the hardest setting, which is recommended for level seventy plus player. Not only do we have to complete a quest and a dungeon at tier three to unlock this, then we will also get access to any more items. As well, that exclusive to the difficult setting, as well as enemy being stronger. Now, 200% to increase a billion, 15% to gold and items, so that does not change. And now, models are 40% more likely to resist certain elements. So, as you can see here, this is going to stay very similar to the way it was in Diablo 3. The only difference is here is instead of picking a leap. 3 and 4 by default, uh, you are going to have to work to unlock these. 
Uh, so this is, I guess, maybe a good or bad thing depending on what type of player you are. Personally, I'm in the camp of being okay, totally having to like, you know, do X, Y, and Z to unlock card or settings, and also that way uh, your character is roughly a little more up to snuff for it. But I know some of you might be a little disappointed in this, but nonetheless, this is how uh, this is operating right now. And of course, if you do pick a harder setting and it is just way too hard or you want to go back down, you can, of course, uh, drop down at any point by coming back to the statue and switching to a lower setting. But there is a little side note to be added here. I don't know if this because of the beta or maybe this is how it's going to be in full release as well. Just keep in mind, though, if you get invited to a party and that player is playing on one of the harder settings, you then will be automatically put into that same difficult setting. Uh, so keep that in mind here. Uh, and, of course, if you're jumping in and out of parties a lot, that might be something uh, that you might want to double-check uh, before you go back adventuring alone to make sure that everything is fine. Like I said, it could be a beta thing, it could be a bug causing the issue, I don't know. But nonetheless, something to keep in mind as we roll into open beta, as well as full release in June. And there you have it, there everything you need to know at the moment anyway about War Tendency. Of course, I will make an update video once they come out, since some of it might change around a little bit after open beta. Or maybe it won't. Either way, I guess we will find out in June. But nonetheless, that is everything tied to this for the time being. And hopefully, you have found this video helpful. If so, make sure to do a thumbs up, subscribe, hit all the wonderful uh, bells below. And of course, like always, I will see you tomorrow for more Diablo 4 videos. As well as in the comments.